Are you covered when it comes to your RV and insurance? You may actually be surprised to learn that you aren't covered as much as you think you are, and we're gonna tell you why in this video. We are Charity, Ben, Dakota, and Trinity. We decided we didn't want to wait for a life of adventure. So in 2017, we bought our first RV and set off to live a life of travel in the USA. We've visited over 38 states in three years and have many more to go. Follow along to learn all the best places to see, RV and travel tips, and much more. So thanks so much for coming back and watching our channel. We really appreciate it. We also want to say a huge thanks to those of you that have jumped in and supported us over on Patreon. Couldn't do videos like this week in and week out without your monthly support. So. Thank you very much. When it comes to insurance, insurance, regardless of what type of insurance, is all really about a transference of risk. So you pay a monthly premium to an insurance company to transfer that financial risk or exposure if something were to happen to a large asset over to the insurance company. So with health insurance, you are paying a premium that if something catastrophic were to happen, that that insurance company would cover the majority of the medical costs. Or if a large storm were to come and wipe out your sticks and bricks house, that the insurance company would step in and cover those losses in a financial aspect. And the same is true with your RV. But as we've been researching RV insurance, we've been learning a few things about what is required, what is not required, and that leaves some pretty big gaps to where you could be not covered with your RV should something happen. So we wanted to talk about some things in this video to make you aware so that you know to check your policies and potentially get a new policy if you need to. Now that we've been living life on the road for over four years, we've learned a thing or two and we've found out there's definitely one thing that you don't want to do when purchasing RV insurance. And we're gonna share that a little bit later in the video. But in researching this topic, we found out a ton of things about RVs and insurance that we were really just shocked to find. So the first thing that we found out is that insurance for a travel trailer is actually not required in a lot of states because the insurance that covers that while you're driving it goes under the policy for the vehicle you're towing it with. So if you're towing a travel trailer with your pickup, the insurance from your pickup transfers over to the travel trailer in most cases. So here's where the gap is that could potentially leave you in a big lurch. If you don't have insurance on that travel trailer specifically, and you're just using the extension of the insurance from the vehicle you're towing it with, as soon as it's not being towed and it's parked at a campsite, you're not covered anymore. So if a tree were to fall on it, if something were to happen in or around it where somebody was injured, you have no coverage in that situation, which is a pretty scary thing, especially thinking about the fact that this could be your potential home that you're talking about. So you want to make sure that you have a policy on that travel trailer and not just using it as an extension of the vehicle that you're towing it with. So when we were first looking at purchasing our very first RV four years ago, of course, one of the things that you always look at as far as cost of ownership goes is insurance and registration fees. And we were actually really pleasantly surprised to find out that most policies for RVs are not that expensive because most RV manufacturers know that they're not going to be used 365. They're going to be stored for part of the time. They're not going to be used every single day of the year. And so most policies for a RV are not really that expensive. So we actually have our insurance through Progressive and we're gonna put a link in the description below for you to get a quote through Progressive. And we have been doing some research with Progressive and Progressive is actually sponsoring this video. So thanks to Progressive for your sponsorship of this video because we found some great things about the type of insurance that they provide for RVers that we wanted to make sure that you guys are aware of as you're shopping for RV insurance or just comparing policies. So one thing is that Progressive actually has a discount if you're the original owner of your RV. So if you did purchase your RV brand new and you're the original owner, they offer a discount for that, which we think is pretty cool because 
that we can get every discount you can get when it comes to insurance purchasing. So that's kind of a nice feature that they have available. They of course also offer discounts for things like safe driving and accident free driving. When we switched over to Progressive last year for our vehicles and also for the RV, we have an app that we downloaded onto our phone. And so they're actually tracking the driving habits and seeing how you're driving and for safe driving, you're earning discounts. And so we got some pretty significant discounts on our policies just for being safe drivers and for not having any accidents or tickets on our driving records. Another thing that we learned in our whole breakdown saga last month, and if you aren't familiar with what happened there, we'll put a link above for that whole just story of us breaking down and needing to get towed. I could have called Progressive's roadside assistance because we found out we have roadside assistance through Progressive on our RV. So it is good to know and have that peace of mind that in the future, if something happens, we've got that through Progressive if we ever would need a tow in the future. Let's hope we don't. Another benefit to Progressive is traveling with pets is if we were ever in an accident and our animals needed veterinary care, Progressive will pay up to $1,000 towards veterinary care for the animals if it's the result of an injury in an accident. So that's just really nice peace of mind to have as we're traveling with our animals because we do travel with our animals that if something were to happen that they're also taken care of in addition to our family being taken care of. Now here's where we realized there could have been a gap in our insurance coverage that we had and this is super important with the RV market right now just being crazy and that is you need to check your policy and find out about the replacement value of your RV because if you only have an actual cash value replacement of your RV there's a good chance you would not be able to replace your RV for the actual cash value. So really what you wanna do is make sure that you have an agreed upon value or an actual replacement cost value for replacement on your RV. And that's something that you could definitely talk with Progressive more about as far as the age of your RV. There are certain age limits to have either an agreed upon value or an actual replacement value, depending upon how old your RV is. With ours being a little bit older rig, we have to do what's called an agreed upon value, meaning that we have a value that we both agree upon. If something were to happen, this is what it would cost to have it replaced. So we actually had to change our policy to that agreed upon value to make sure that we didn't have any gaps in coverage. Now here's another really cool thing that we learned in researching this topic about Progressive specifically. We all know as RVers, roofs can be problematic. If you have an RV that is six years old or less, Progressive actually has a separate part of the policy you can get that covers just the roof. Now this is totally a game changer because we all know how this works, folks. We all know you're gonna snag a tree branch, something is going to happen, and water leaks are the biggest problem when it comes to RVing, and it's almost always something that comes through the roof. So you can get coverage for that through Progressive now, which is super exciting to us as RVers to be able to know that that is something that's available and it's out there because it really helps to make sure that you're covered for one of the most problem areas that can happen with these types of rigs. So another thing to note is what types of RVs can you get coverage for specifically through Progressive, but also to keep in mind as you're just shopping for RV insurance in general, is that Progressive covers pretty much any type of RV that's out there. So whether it is a B class, a C class, a travel trailer, a pop-up trailer, anything that's kind of really an RV designation, they will cover. So now if you're doing a schoolie build on your own or a camper van conversion, it doesn't mean that you can't get insurance, but you will need to call and you will need to make sure that it meets some specific requirements. You use the link below to reach out to Progressive for a quote. They can kind of walk you through what some of those requirements are to still be able to get insurance for that particular type of vehicle because it's not that they won't insure it. It's just that they have some really specific requirements that it needs to meet to be able to meet the standards for them to ensure that for you. So now remember earlier in the video, we told you the one thing you do not want to do when you're shopping for insurance on your RV and we're gonna tell you what that is right now. So this is a big mistake that a lot of people make when they go full time and that is they get a part-timers policy 
when they're full-time RVers. This leaves you vulnerable in a ton of different areas. So Progressive has some specific policies for full-timers versus part-timers. If you're a full-timer, make sure you get a full-timers policy. Do not skimp, do not try to you know, cheat the system and save a few bucks by getting a part-timers policy because it really leaves you vulnerable. And you don't wanna be vulnerable in these types of scenarios. If something happens to your home, when you're full-timing RVing, these are your homes. This is where you live. And you just don't want to have any sort of gap in coverage or anything that would just leave you kind of out to dry if something were to happen. So do yourself a favor and make sure that you get a full-timers policy if you are a full-time RVer. So thanks so much for watching this video and thanks again to Progressive for being a sponsor of this video. You will find a link below where you can get a free quote on RV insurance. We highly recommend shopping your insurance. This is one of the places that you can really save some big bucks every year. You should always be shopping your insurance on a yearly basis to make sure that you're getting the best rates possible, especially if you're an RVer living the RV life. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you'd like to see more videos with RV tips, tricks, hacks, check those out right over here. And if you'd like to see more travel vlog type videos and places to go in your RV, check those out right over here. Until next time, we will see you on the road.